hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i have a huge timu unboxing i know you guys love these i love watching these on youtube and i feel like this is going to be one that you guys can really really enjoy because it is a little bit longer than my normal videos so go ahead and grab your snacks sit back and relax and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Also, before we start, I do want to give a huge thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Timu doesn't really need an introduction because I know a lot of you guys have already purchased items from Timu, but they offer you a lot of different categories such as electronics, toys, automotive, lawn and patio, women's clothes, health and beauty products, shoes, a lot of different accessories, cookware, office supply items, baby and maternity, musical instruments, cell phone and accessories, and of course nail products. And I do want to say be on the lookout for anything in today's video that you might like because with my link down below you can download the Timu app through my link and get 100 coupons for free and this is for all users. Or you can use my code which is JOY3798 to get an extra 30% off. But do keep in mind this only applies for new users. I will be including some screenshots so you guys can see what the item looked like as I was picking them out. And also you can just get a glimpse of the price before you make up your mind to purchase them. But I will say Timu prices are very affordable which makes them convenient for everyone. So yeah, just make sure that you guys do check the links down below. All of them will be linked, my discount codes, and also the link for the $100 coupons, which is for all users. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into these products. So when I unbox this, I did start with the smaller package, of course. Um, and I couldn't really remember if I picked these items out. But once I did like my video, I went back to the links that I sent them. And I actually didn't pick these out. So these are just extra products that Timu sent over to me. Um, I did get a total of four set of press-on nails. Each box has 24 pieces. And I really do love the designs, especially if you love simple and minimalistic, you love shorter nails. These are super cute. Um, although they're not really my cup of tea just because I love my longer nails. And if they are shorter like this, I do prefer like a square shape. But I did record a TikTok of me applying the shorter ones. So if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me over there i am gonna try to be a little bit more consistent when posting um but yeah they did include some press on nails and they are very beginner friendly because they do come with the items that you would need to prep and push back your cuticles although it doesn't include glue of course you will have to supply your own glue speaking of glue the next item is some rhinestone glue um, I know I have a ton of rhinestone glue, but I was drawn to this because of the squeeze nozzle. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I hate to like crowd rhinestone glue with the top coat and just have everything like overflowing and crowded. Like I don't like that messy look. So whenever I need to apply my gems or rhinestones in a small area, it would be very nice to just go in that area with the squeeze nozzle and just put it where I need it. It's very precise and... I feel like that would be very very helpful so yeah i was just loving how this bottle looks and as you saw by me squeezing it out it was very precise and i cannot wait to try this out and see how the actual rhinestone glue holds your rhinestones in place see if it's strong enough for bigger gems this next item i'm going to be showing you guys is going to contribute to my timu only video whenever i decide to do that video i do have a lot of things planned a lot of different offers and like just a lot of things happening at once so it's kind of hard to say i'm going to do a video because it might not end up happening how i want it to but like i was mentioning i do plan to do a timu only video where i only use timu products to do my nails and this is going to be one of the items that I will need to achieve that video, of course, we need some filing to be done. So I got these 8080 grit nail files and just by the looks of them, I can already tell that these are going to work so great because I love my 80 grit files. I love something that's going to like really, really crisping up my nails whenever I file. And you can really see how coarse the grit looks. It may be intimidating to some people, but I love it and I cannot wait to try these out. I tried one of them for like my nail sets, but I only used it for about five seconds and you'll see when i get to my nails but yeah i cannot wait to try those out 
The next items I'm going to show are some acrylic powders. I did pick out four. And just like my Timu dip powder where I tested out a dip powder kit, of course I do plan to try acrylic. And in my last Timu unboxing, I'll leave it up here in the cards if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it. But I did pick out an acrylic kit. It comes with a nail drill, a lot of different um, necessity products, very beginner friendly. But just in case I don't like that selection of colors, I did pick out individual ones just in case I like those more or I could pair them with it. The first one was a gold glitter. Also got a pink, a blue, and a clear. But moving right along to this next product here, I know you guys have been seeing a lot of the different 3D scoped and gel like nails and the chrome French tip, which I actually did on my channel. Um, it turned out okay. I do want to try to redeem myself though and make them better. This item here was actually inspired from Kate from Casey's Nails whenever I watched her video. I don't know if this is the same one, but she did pick out some of these um, carving gels. And this is actually a 4D UV gel, which you do have secured in a UV light. And this is not only for nails. You can make rings, you can make necklaces, you can make charms. Just be creative in whatever you want to or decide to do with this it does come with a lot of different colors and i love playing with this like it was honestly just so fun like opening them seeing how the colors look taking them out whenever i open them you'll see me like pull some out and roll it around on my glove like it just feels like play-doh is super soft so i feel like molding it would be very easy to do and even adding like base coat it wouldn't become like super slimy to where you can't really work with it so i'm actually super super excited to try these out um i only pulled out a few colors but it also comes with a blue which i believe to be a nude two shades of pink green and a blue and then also with this package, it comes with a brush to help you mold the gel in place. Moving to this next product here, which is nothing out of the ordinary. I did pick up some nail art gel liners and this pack comes with 12 different colors as you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. I was really curious to see how pigment the colors would be or how the consistency works, whether it was going to be super thick or thin, how it cures in the light. And I didn't really have a problem with these. I did end up using these for my nails today and you will see. But this color kit comes with just about all of the colors in the rainbow. I did notice it was missing a yellow um, instead of having two different greens, which I can't really complain because I did end up using both of them in today's nail set. But I feel like this would have been a little bit more complete and versatile if it did include a yellow instead of two different shades of green. And I'm just going to show these very quickly so you can see the consistency and the shades of each color. I do want to say some of the bottle swatches were slightly different from the color actually in the bottle. Um, for example, this red one here. From the swatch, I honestly thought it was a brown. But besides that, I felt like this gel liner set was great. And then not only did it give you solid colors, it also gave you two different glitter or metallic colors, a silver and a gold. So that's always a plus just in case you want to spice up your design. So now that we got the smaller package out the way, I'm going to go ahead and open up this big one here. So when it comes to this bigger package, I wanted to try out some different items. So not just only nail products, I did get a few more storage items that you will see because I will be unboxing everything. Um, but I also did want to try out some lighting equipment because when it comes to filming nail products, videos, and content, it's super important to have very nice lighting, especially if you want top quality content. So I was just like really curious to see how the lighting works. Um, and I will talk about that a little bit later, but for now, I'm going to be showing you guys this new brush holder that I picked out. And before I start, I just want to say sorry if you have that fear of hole things. I don't know what it's called, but... I do know it is very real, um, but yeah, this is the new brush holder I got. I just love how it looks. So in my first video, my first ever Timu video, I did pick out this brush holder here. Um, I haven't transferred all of my brushes to it yet, but I do have like my, my top ones that I always use. Just compared to how this one is, I feel like it will be a little bit more spacious on my nail desk or like wherever I put my items. And I don't know, I just feel like this one is a lot neater. It looks better. 
Um, and also what I noticed about my smaller brushes is that you can fit up to three brushes with these skinnier handles in here which is going to save a lot of space for me because I have accumulated so many nail brushes. Like not only those, I do have more acrylic brushes um, that I plan to use for this. This is not going to be officially how it looks but this is just to like show you guys how um, it would look for the spacing. Like you can fit so many brushes into one little holder which I think is amazing. I'm still planning to do maybe a room tour or like an organizing video with all of my new storage items from Timu. I'm not really sure how I want to plan that video just yet, but just know I have been thinking about it a lot for the longest time and just know that it is coming. So please be on the lookout for that video. Um, but the next item, I picked out some charms. These are just some cross charms. I love how these look. I've been really loving cross charms lately. I feel like you can go either spiritual or you can just have them as like a bling set. And I feel like they would pair nicely. Um, and also, I just gave you like a size reference on one of my small swatch sticks that I also got from Timu. The next item are more charms. I don't know the style of these charms, but I just know I really, really love them. I also have some of these charms in like silver and gold. Um, but what really draw me to these were the different colors. And summer is rapidly approaching, so I feel like this would be very nice to go or try to use in a summer set. Like these colors are just so, so gorgeous. And again, here is a size reference. Moving along to this next item. So this item here is actually a box cutter and it was inspired by one of my nail friends, Nailed by Brandy. When she did her video, um, I saw her like open it. Whenever she did her Timu haul unboxing, I love this item and since we do get a lot of packages, usually I would use like my scissors but for some reason they're always like misplaced. So I figured this would be a nice addition to unbox packages and I love the look of it. It's super cute and aesthetic. Also I love that it has like the little heart that way I can actually put up like a nail or something on my wall and just hang it up that way it's closed and out of reach because actually my niece and nephew comes in here a lot whenever I'm working so I don't need this like laying around and it's probably not really meant for that but I felt like that would be a cool way to just have it hanging up and nearby and that way I can always put it back and know where it's at whenever I'm here again unboxing another package and it was super sharp. You will see me using it to unbox a few more packages along this video. Um, but the next item we got here are some sugary looking charms. These look so yummy. Like if these were laying around a toddler or something, they would really put one of these in their mouth thinking it's candy. I'm hoping that doesn't happen if you have kids or siblings, um, if you do have these charms. But I'm just saying like that's how good they look. Like they look super realistic, like little sugary gummy candies. Um, but this is not something I picked out. Timu included this for me as another free item, which I'm super appreciative for. And these look so nice on a kawaii or a nice long summer nail set. The next item we got are more charms. And these right now don't really look like anything. Like even when I pulled them out, I was like, wait, I picked this out or did Timu give me this for as like another free gift but then i remember on the listing i was drawn to these because whenever you take two of the same color um charms and you put the rounder pieces side by side it creates a cute little butterfly but when i picked them out i was under the impression that they were like already butterfly shaped which doesn't bother me um using them as single pieces just leaves more room to be creative with your nail set and they do have other color choices but i did go with the blue and silver this next item here is a gel polish tear rack and I did just want to go ahead and try to assemble this on camera so you guys can see how it is. Um, it didn't really come with any instructions but I already have a few of these and I put them together by myself so I already know how to really do it. When I opened this, I was kind of disappointed because one of the shells actually like broke. It was cracked in two long areas. Um, it wasn't to where I couldn't use it, which is why I'm still going to put it together and show you guys how it looks. Um, I think it was because this package was so overcrowded. Um, and also it could have happened like in the process of being shipped here. I'm not sure. I was a little disappointed, but like I said, it still works, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and continue putting it together and show you guys how it looks with a few polishes on there. Now, on Timu, they have two different selections where you can get a two-tier rack or a 
four tier rack i believe and i did end up getting a two tier rack because for my necessities like my gel polishes top coats um peel off base coats basically everything i have to the right of me that i use this area is a little bit messy so i wanted to get a smaller tier rack and just put everything on there so it looks a little bit neater which didn't really work out because I underestimated the sizes of these gel polishes. Like only about eight of them fit on here and that row was already taken up. So I'm going to need a bigger one. Maybe I should have got the four tier rag or maybe just get a bigger one. But either way, this is going to work and I'm still going to use this one even though it is cracked. Um, I did put that one at the back so it's not really noticeable to me whenever I'm just sitting here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it still holds the gel polishes how it is supposed to be held. And this is how it looks. And these shelves are very easy to put together. This is actually therapeutic for me. Like, I just love putting together things like this. Um, it was kind of hard to do with my gloves on, so you did see me take them off. But yeah, this is how it looks. I recommend you guys getting a tier shelf like this, whether it's a 2, 4, or a 6 tier. Um, if you have a lot of different gel polishes, it's so nice to like just have them all displayed like that. We're getting kind of close to the last few items of this video. So if you are enjoying today's video, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think about Timu down below. Also, don't forget that you can get $100 in coupons using my link, which is for all users. Or you can get an additional 30% off your order, which is here on the screen for new users. And again, all of the item links will be linked down below, so make sure to check that out before leaving. This next product here I'm going to be showing you is Inspire, also by Nail by Brandy again. Um, I just love watching other creator videos like this when they pick out items because since we all do like the same thing, create content, we want to have cute little storage items, I feel like getting inspiration and ideas from them is like amazing because we're always thinking alike in some similar way so this item here is actually a makeup palette holder and i love the idea from brandy where she said she can include her sticker books in here and just have them like sitting off because right now mines are in like a drawer and it's kind of hard to open with them like being so filled up so i felt like this was a nice idea to just have them here um it's where you can just grab and go on the listing you can get a different style where the like the separators are a little bit taller i think that was the one i meant to get unless they sent me the wrong one i'm not complaining but i do think the one with the longer separators would have worked a lot better especially for my sticker books if i decide not to use them for my sticker books best believe me i will use them in another way because that was just too cute to just not use Moving on to this next item here, so I did pick out another bling like case of rhinestones. I really did love the one I got currently from them. I've been using it a lot in a lot of my other videos. Um, but I did want to pick out a gold just because when I was flipping through like the other color choices, I wanted to get gold because I can never seem to find like the right color gold I'm looking for. So this was slightly disappointing when I received them and they look sort of like an orangish, sort of like a burnt orange amber color to me. It's not that far from gold, but it's just like this one specific color of gold I'm looking for. And whenever I pick out rhinestones, I just can't really seem to find it and it's super frustrating. Um, but of course, I will be putting these to use either way. And just in case you haven't seen my other Timu unboxing, this is the first one I got, which I absolutely love. I actually may just get another one of these AB crystals just because I love them so much. So moving along to this next item here, this is going to be, I believe, which is the light. So when I first opened up the bigger package, I did mention how I wasn't just going to have nail related products. I did want to test out some of the like filming equipment or like lighting systems. And so I see a lot of nail techs and also like lash techs where they do their clients um, lashes and they have this silver bar light. I've honestly been wanting one for the longest time, but all of the other ones on Amazon are so expensive. So I did restrain myself from buying one just because I felt like it wasn't really necessary since I already have lightings, but I've still wanted to try it. So I got this one here and I'm just putting 
putting it together which is not that complicated it did come with instructions but very simple um you can put this together without even looking at the instructions it does have a clamp for you to clamp onto your table but also keep in mind like the um, size the inches of your table so now that I got that assembled I'm going to be taking out the actual light and when I took this light out I tell you guys it was so lightweight like honestly the weight of a random stick you would pick up out the yard um, and by this time I didn't really have high hopes for this light at all just because of how it felt like it felt very lightweight and you can tell when something is like good quality or if it's gonna work good or bad and at that moment i just got like it wasn't going to work as great so i went ahead and clamped it onto my table and this is how it is looking um and i also did want to like compare it to my other lights that i already have up um but so far this is how the light is i'm not really sure of the inches right now of like how long the light is um, but compared to it, this is how my other lights look. So I do have like this 18 inch ring light and then I also have this other bar light from Amazon. And I just wanted to compare it to the ones I already have because so far the ones I have weren't great. But me just being a content creator, I'm always looking for ways to like up my content to get better lighting and just have better content overall. And lighting is really important when it comes to that. At this point in the video, I went ahead and turned off my other lights, like my ring light and my other bar light. And this is the only light besides my ceiling light that I'm using. Um, I don't think this light is that great, which I kind of expected. Like I said, you, you kind of just get what you pay for in this situation. When I was looking at this light, it was $19.68. So less than $20 is not bad for like if you just want a side table lamp or a bathroom makeup lamp. Like, I don't know. But for filming purposes, I would not recommend just because I feel like it's not bright enough. And you will eventually need to buy more lighting to pair with it just to make like that great white light that everyone's aiming for. And so besides that light, I did pick out another one and this was going to be like aimed more towards like my reels. Um, I kind of have a hard time of filming like down on the table in like real angles like that portrait mode. Just because the way I have my phone stand set up right now, it's like really hard to just get that angle I'm looking for. So I don't want to move it too often because it's super annoying to have to move around like that so i did pick this one out so it helps me get those angles i need and also that perfect downwards lighting um and this was super complicated the footage i had unboxing it was like for some reason my phone turned off and i lost that entire part of the video and you saw me have this already together but i did have to take it apart because there was some pieces missing there were no instructions in this box um but i pretty much got the idea of how to like set it up just because like like I said, I have a lot of light, so I kind of know like what goes where, like the swivels and what to screw on where. The purpose of me getting this is to have like the little phone clip like down in the middle. And whenever I have it like set up, it was just like another piece missing to where I couldn't screw that on. Or if I put it there, it was another piece missing somewhere else. And I just didn't know what went where really. So yeah, it was just super confusing. And then here you see me just messing around with the lighting one light is super orange i did go ahead and turn off my other lights just so you can see just this and how it looks which is not that bad but like i said on the other one um i don't really recommend it just because i feel like it's not bright enough um and this lamp here was 18 dollars 28 when i was looking at it on the website i didn't really expect these lights to be much just because the price like is super affordable although it would have been very nice if they were working better but you know you just kind of get what you pay for it's either hit or miss and even though this video is sponsored i refuse to tell you guys a lot so for these lights i do not recommend when it comes to filming content but now that you guys seen that part of the video, let's move on to the last and final item I'm going to be showing. So this item here was honestly my favorite and like this process, like until I do my nails, you guys are just going to love this process. So this is actually a jewelry holder. 
um, on the listing it has jewelry in it but of course I'm gonna be putting some of my nail charms in here and I've had this vision for like the longest time of how I want my nail charms to look and like just look at this case it's super aesthetic I love how it looks it's very convenient and it's super spacious so for the first little drawer it has like this open space the second one here is divided into um, six spaces and then the one underneath it has little smaller ones which I wanted to switch out with the bigger one at the top so here I'm just switching them out putting the open one at the bottom and the smaller ones at the top which is why I like these shelves like this because it's super customizable um, and if you get two of them you can also stack them on top of each other just to make a bigger one and I just love how this looks. Here's a few more angles from the side on how it looks. Like I said, y'all, this is my favorite thing. Well, one of my favorite things. Um, but the process that I'm going to show now is what made me like it even more than the rest of the items. So just to showcase how this looks, I had this bag of charms, like bulky, bigger charms that I wanted to like show you guys and just fill up this case so you can see how I'm going to be use a lot, utilizing it. With how this turned out, I do plan to get another one. Also on the Timu app, I do believe there's ones where you can get customizable shelves. So if you want all three shelves to be like the top one here where it's like divided into a lot of dis different sections, I do believe you can pick one that has that option. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure there is like a customizable option. And just filling this up was just so satisfying to watch. Like I couldn't cut anything out. I just had to fill this case with charms so you guys can see it i know in my last video i did like an asmr of me um putting my rhinestones in my bling box but for this one this is gonna be like the star of the show and yeah, i just love how this came along for the top drawer i did put most of like the smaller ones in here also it doesn't have to be just charms like this you can put like your smaller ones in it like your metal charms or like the other ones i show in today's video but just because of the fact I didn't really have anywhere else to put these and like they've been in this plastic bag for the longest time on the bottom shelf of like my little bookshelf thingy. And I just needed to display these some type of way and I just thought this was a perfect way to do so. For the bigger charms, of course, that wouldn't fit in the first drawer, I did add them to the second one. And the spaces were so perfect for these charms, like it was just meant to be. And after I add these little charms here that I'm showing you, this was actually the end of it. But I enjoyed this part so much to where I went in my other drawer, found more charms to fill this case up with. And then I continued to fill this up just because I love this process so much. And the last one, you're going to see me add some charms that is like way too big to be even on nails and even though i probably won't use them on my nails i just felt like it was super cute to have them in there and i'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this process until i come back once i come back i will be starting my nail design so yeah stay tuned for that and i really hope you guys are enjoying today's video Once I was done filling my shelves, this is how it looks. I'm going to give you some different angles so you can see. One thing I really love about this shelf is, is that it's see-through so I can see all of my charms in here. And one thing about me is that I have so much stuff that's like not really displayed how I want it to be. So whenever I buy something, like there's so much stuff that I received or either bought that I haven't even used yet just because I can't see it displayed anywhere. And when I can't see it, I just forget that I have it. So having everything display is just a way for me to remember everything that I have. Not only it being a way for me to remember everything and where I place it, it's just so cute in my nail area. And I just love coming to like the aesthetic of just seeing everything displayed. So yeah, that concludes my Timu unboxing. And I love all the items I received some more than others but it was so nice to try a lot of the different items 
Overall, I am pleased with my Timu um, items. Like, Timu is just such a great app, super affordable. And if you haven't remembered, you can download the Timu app through my link and get 100 coupons for free, which is for all users. Or you can use my code JOY3798 to get an extra 30% off for new users. And if you're interested in anything I show in today's video, it will be linked down below for you guys to check out. So now let's get into the nail set. I know you guys have been waiting. Um, I'm not sure what my thumbnail is going to look like just yet, but if I did include a picture, I know you guys cannot wait to see the ending results. So just like I always do, I did my unboxing a few days before I did my nail set. Um, I try not to wait too long because I just get so unmotivated. I think it took me about a day or two. So I'm just going to be doing some press on nails. It was kind of late in the day, so I just didn't want to have like long nails on my hand and have to wait till the next day. Although this only took me about three hours to do, I was pleased with the outcome. Um, what I'm going to be using from my Timu items is the gel polish set. I kind of went back and forth with wanting to use the acrylic, but once I finished looking for a design or like some inspo, I just decided on using the gel art liners and... So yeah, I just went ahead and put some on my nail palette. I did have to mix up some colors because I wanted, I wanted the darker green just a little bit darker and the lighter green a little bit lighter or more of a like pastel type of color. And I'm also going to be using the black from the gel polish set and a white. That nude color is from another brand, but I'm not going to say what brand it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start by putting down my bases on these nails. Currently, I'm doing a light green on the pinky nail. I'm also going to do a light green on my middle nail and my thumb. And then also, I'm going to do a full solid black nail on my index nail. I didn't plan on talking through the entire process of me actually creating the nail design. Just because I feel like it would be a lot better if you guys just watch the process like just happen. And since I've already been talking throughout the entire unboxing for my Timu items, I feel like it would just be better to just speed this part up. Also, not to make the video longer than it needs to be. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, like I said, I'm just applying my bases. So here, don't really mind this part. At first, I was going to try to make like an ombre, just making it a tad bit lighter than was at the top. But it didn't end up happening how I wanted it to be. It was going to be covered up anyway. So I just cured what I had on the nail and then moved to the next one. Like I said, I'm going to be adding a black to the index nail, another light green to my thumb and once I get my bases on I'm gonna start on my index nail So actually starting off one of my designs this is this was so hard for me to even like start it's also something i've always wanted to try out and like now i feel like it was the right time to do so i had a difficult time to really get started my brush was kind of like messing up or i didn't really start it in the middle but for this design i'm going to be creating like the outline heart spreading out over the entire nail I don't know what it's called, but it's like that Y2K type of outline heart. I'm going to be creating that design using white, the light green, and the darker green, and also black. And by the way, I haven't mentioned yet, but this is a recreation set I saw on Pinterest. Like I said, I was going back and forth between the acrylic. Like, I was honestly thinking about doing a blue and gold nail set. But I'm so happy I looked on Pinterest first because once I saw this design, it had nail art in it. I was like wanting to do something like different, not too simple, but also not too much. And when I saw this design, I was looking at like the items I got from Timu. I had the perfect colors in this gel liner set. So I thought, why not go ahead and do this for you guys? And also just to practice some of my nail art, my lines, my character nail art. And just know that I love the way this turned out. Also, one thing about this design is that when you are doing the hearts, you have to make sure that the lines actually look like a heart. Because 
when I first started, I was getting like so lost into trying to just outline the previous like color. But if you don't make sure that it looks like a heart, eventually all of the other lines will just start to look like circles and that's not what you want. So even though you are outlining the previous color, you want to make sure that for the most part, it does look like it's individual heart. Otherwise, you will start to mess up. And I am curing for 30 seconds in between each layer just to make sure I don't mess anything up. I was not going to regret not curing for the full 30 seconds. So yeah, it just took me a very long time to try to get this done. But I really did enjoy doing this design. I feel like it helped me with my lines. Um, and also just to practice doing a lot of different nail art. I said I wanted to do nail art, but I just haven't really been on it lately just because so many things are happening. But yeah, I just love how this design ended up happening and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching this design play out. So I'm not really sure how long this process is going to be, but I went ahead and finished like the first set of colors. I turned my camera off and did my second set off camera just so the process wouldn't take super long. And now I'm back to finish off starting with that white once again. One thing about this design is that once you go off to the sides, it gets so much easier when you don't have to connect the entire heart. Just because for me, I feel like it's easier to just like do the lines and even if you do mess up, just as long as like the line is thick enough to be seen, like it doesn't really have to be like lined up with the other ones, if that makes sense. And there's a bird like right outside my window. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's super loud. So just don't mind that at all. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up, curing for 30 seconds in between. And I didn't have enough space for the black on the final layer, but I did make sure to reach the darker green. And I feel like that was perfect. After my final layer of the green, I did make sure to wipe the sides before I cure in the light just to make sure that it doesn't take away from the shape. One thing I hate when it comes to press on nails is that sometimes you have to file them a little bit to redefine the shape. If you have to file too much on the design, it will like mess it up. So one thing about doing press ons, make sure to wipe the sides so it doesn't take away from the shape and you have to file less. I know going over the free edge is like one of the things you may need to do, but not necessarily. Um, I guess it just depends on like pers personal preference but now that I got my index nail out the way I'm so happy I don't even know how long that took me to complete that entire nail not even counting like the off camera part and the cleanups I did leave all of that off camera as much as I could because I didn't want to have like 
unnecessary parts in here even though it's not unnecessary it's a part of the process i just you know just wanted the wanted the design to be on screen so moving on to my middle finger i'm going to be taking the the new color that i've mixed up on my nail palette which is from another brand and i did a huge circle in the center of the nail and this is gonna be my powerpuff girl and of course from the green this is gonna be buttercup um i have thought about doing powerpuff girls nails like character nail art for the longest time and whenever i did it i didn't know my first nail was gonna be buttercup just because i felt like the other two colors are a little bit cuter like you got the pink and the yellow and the blue like i just feel like those are a lot cuter to be honest but like this green set like really popped off and i just love how this turned out and i'm honestly glad that buttercup was my first powerpuff girl nail actually doing nail art because i felt like it took me out of my comfort zone with these colors and i just love everything about it to be honest so once i cured the circle in the middle i'm gonna start by doing her hair and one thing about this black gel polish is that the one I got from Timu, it wasn't really as opaque as I needed it to be. So I did end up switching a little in between back and forth between that one and another gel art liner. And I used that for mostly like the outlines, um, like just a kind of quick sketch and stuff like that. But for like the coloring in, I did go back to the polish I got from Timu just because it was a little bit thinner and it allowed me to fill that area in especially since it being a very small surface and area since it was a little bit thinner it just helped me cover that area a lot better with less mistakes so yeah now i'm going to be working on the body so this was like a second attempt i didn't include the first one at all just because it was like so wobbly so weird looking um but yeah i'm just doing some lines one thing i heard about like character nail art or in general drawing is that drawing is all about shapes geometrical shapes and honestly whenever I was drawing this out it really played a part in like how I was getting this part done because the head was obviously a huge circle the hair was half triangles and circles sort of kind of and like now working on the body all I'm doing is lines and then for the leg part it's gonna be a half rectangle and then the other leg is gonna be a half circle and the reason they are different is because I obviously you have to give that illusion of her leg being up like she's like zooming up in the air like the powerpuff girl animation and just know that I really really tried my best and when you're putting like the shapes like just basically focus on the shapes first and then fill in anything that you need to later or perfect later but for the most part when it comes to character nail art like this i feel like shapes are very very important so this was a little difficult to do so i did just go ahead and finish that off camera and as you can see i went ahead and added the white in there for her socks or whatever it is also i went ahead and did her arms too as well as the arm outline off camera just because i felt like those were like very hard it took me multiple tries even off camera so i could only imagine how it was gonna play out when i tried to record so here i'm working on her eyebrows and starting her eyes i feel like the eyes is what really really brought this entire thing together those big googly eyes like this was so satisfying to draw like i said the geometrical shapes is all you need to know as you can see is more lines and circles and this was just really fun to draw out and i don't really know what else to explain so i'm gonna let you guys just finish watching up watching this process play out and like i mentioned about 20 times in this video i hope you guys are really really enjoying it if you are enjoying today's video or if you love the nail art i'm creating go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already it would really really help me out and also if you are feeling generous go ahead and leave a comment down below
So I went ahead and added my finishing touches on the buttercup nail. Once I was done, I just went ahead and cured it in the light. And now for my pinky, this is how my bob wire is looking. I just went ahead and showed the like design of how it turned out because when I first tried to do it, I tried multiple times. Like I was constantly wiping it away. It, it took me about seven minutes to finally come up with something that I liked. At first, I was trying to do like the little hoop barb wire, but it just wasn't turning out. So I just ended up doing the rest of it off camera. And finally, I googled like barb wire designs or like drawings, and I just went ahead and took one of those ideas. And this was so much easier. So for this type of barb wire, I'm only going to be doing one strip of the wire. And to create the illusion of the barb wire, I'm going to be putting three small lines along the one long line that I put and then on the outside of the three lines I just do like this random little spiky line to give the illusion of it being like tied and stuff like that so this was so much easier to me and it was actually the only one that I really liked how it turned out and it wasn't the best but out of all of the designs I was trying to do this was the only one that was like decent enough for me to continue and add it to two nails within this design and with this bob wire design, it looks more like bob wire when the three lines are closer together. I kept trying to remind myself of that, but it was just like I was sitting here for about four or five hours and I was just so ready to be done with it. Believe it or not, this bob wire and the next nail I'm going to do turned out to be the most annoying nails ever just because, I don't know, I feel like... It should have been the easiest, but since I've been here sitting for the longest time, I was just like so ready to be done with everything. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I went ahead and cured that in the light. Now moving on to my last nail. As you can see, it's a flame and it's already done. These last two nails turned out to be the ones I had the most problems with and I just kept messing up on this flame. I didn't really know how to do it and it looked right. And after so many attempts of me trying with the camera on, I went ahead and turned it off. And the moment I turned the camera off, I finally was able to get a decent looking flame. And I was just like, really? I could have showed this on camera, but since I didn't get like the first go around, I'm just going to show you guys the part where I went over it because it was a little light and I just wanted it to have a more of a green color. It was a little um, streaky in some parts, so I'm just perfecting that flame. Once I finish, I'm going to cure and that's basically the end of this nail art. Okay, and I also forgot, so we're not done quite yet. I'm just going to be adding some nail fillers to my buttercup nail, which is just going to be the four-pointed stars. I love adding these to add in the extra spaces. I'm going to be three in black, and I just messed that one up. So I'm just going to wipe that off and redo it. But I'm going to be doing three in black, and then I also decided to do two in white just to add some of that white color to it. But since it was white, it was kind of hard to see. After carrying on my nail fillers, I also added some of those colors to do my four pointed stars. I added some clear using those colors and just kind of made like an airbrush type of design as you can see on my buttercup nail. But yeah, this is how the nails end up turning out. Um, of course, I haven't added my top coat just yet, but while I was filming this part, I was going to wait the next day just because there was barely any sun. It was getting late in the day like I mentioned. And when I did, I applied them to my nails, I added a glossy top coat, and this is how they turned out. Even now, there still isn't a lot of sun, so unfortunately, this is all you have for this video because I do need to hurry up and get this up and saved. 
um but yeah this is how the nails turned out i love how this set turned out this is truly amazing like i honestly cannot believe i just did buttercup on my nails in that heart like that is just so hard to do i'm always intimidated by like nail art like this but the more i do it the better i get and i'm so happy at how this set turned out so yeah thank you guys for being here also thank you to timu for sponsoring today's video again make sure to check the description box for all of the links let me know what you thought about today's set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye